We're here today at a secret location. This man is living a paranoid life at the moment. I've came here today. There's drones flying right above this man's house as we speak. I hope you enjoy this episode of the podcast. Yo. How are you doing, buddy? I'm oh, good. You need to put the camera away around here. I'm trying to stay in conspicuous, you know? Ian Flannery, also known as King Irish. This man has went under the radar for so long. He's a bit like a ghost. See, King Irish, I want one thing and one small thing. In this podcast, we turned up to a secret location. Drones above us watching Irish's every move. But this is, after all, Irish's world. Bear in mind, when I was convicted of this crime, it was something that... I was active doing at the time. I've been convicted of it. I got released from prison. And at the moment, I'm involved in no form of criminal activity in any shape or form. I've stated this across social media, on YouTube, everything. I'm not informed, I'm not involved in any form of criminal activity in any shape or form. I've never seen drugs. I've never seen firearms. And I'm getting an awful lot of stigma from the media and the police. I'm being terrorized. I don't know, did you see, but I could hear it when I opened the door that the drone is yeah. above my house today. It's not often you come across an Irishman with gold teeth, Tattoos all over his neck and head. But it's also not every day you meet an Irishman convicted of a firearm offence without handling or being in possession of one. I mean, the Crown Prosecution stated the last day in court, which is why I was reminded of the custody, it stated that I've got people working for me, you know? Because in the initial extortion case, I had all these drug dealers say that they were working to provide for me, which wasn't true, and neither was the second statement, but... I mean, are you, are you going to send me in with what, they, with what they say about me? Are you going to send me in somewhere today into the corner shop to, to get a job? I got halfway through this interview and it was constantly on my mind. The prison time, the taxing dealers, the firearm allegations. How is this man still walking? I was kind of waiting for Irish to go all Schwarzenegger on me and half of his face start peeling off. Is he a man? Is he a machine? I've met them all. I've met and fought some of the hardest men in Britain. But Irish, there's just something about this guy. And I just can't put my finger on it. The gold teeth, the tats, the Irish accent. It's not just that. It's the fact that this man has came out of nowhere, has been under the radar for so long, and he's here now finally telling his story. So to me today, you can't, most certainly, well, do, you won't find anything about the controlled substance within the vehicle. Which I know nothing about. If people were to know the real Flannery, how would you describe yourself? You know what, it's very, very difficult to know the real Flannery because day to day, and you'll probably know a little bit about this, I kind of wear a mask, and I'm not talking about a balaclava to do a robbery. I'm talking about, I've, it's very seldom I let somebody in. As I said, Kane called me last night, and I can have a conversation with him. That, that's me, you know, but the average person you meet nine, nine to five, I, I wouldn't really do that, you know, but if, if you know me, the real people that know me, and as I said, there's people going to be watching this who remember me with absolutely nothing, not one fucking thing, you know, and I robbed from the rich and I fed the poor, and I most certainly done that. Robin Hood? I wouldn't call me that, now. I was more of a robber bastard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Some people may class Irish as a myth. Some may think he's moved quietly and hustled in the right way. There's stacks there, every colour. But the fact is, he's done prison time. And the tattooed teardrops on his eye only mean one thing. But I'll let you figure that out for yourselves. Ian Flannery is now away from crime. I fucking have been for a long time. Who is Ian Flannery now? I'm a reformed character. I'm, I would like to... You know, I was always known as the infamous Irish. I would like to be known as the innocent infamous Irish, you know? If I wasn't Ian Flannery, I would talk about Ian Flannery. Kidnap, thoughts, imprisonment, extortion, blackmail. But I'm a one-man show. It's me, myself and Irish. But I'm the talk of the country. I'm the talk of England right now, from low to high down. You know that. There's only one Ian Flannery. There's only one Irish man capable of tattoos with a mouth for the board. And still to this day, I'm the only man in my kingdom who can be convicted of extorting with a firearm. Without a firearm. Just still no firearm.